Hey, once again, it's your boy Daddy for Triple D Gaming coming at you with another how to video. You know how we do it. Let's get to it. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, so in this one, I'm going to show you how to add, a, I'm pretty sure it's like 200 plus uh, paintable textures to a map in Giants Editor. So uh, with that being said, let's get to it. In the old, so you're gonna go to uh, unzip your map, all right, and find the i3d file, open it up in Giants Editor, all right. Um, and FS19, it was a lot different, you had to do this through um, the text editor and Giants Editor, so you would just open up text editor. And you had to do a bunch of stuff in there. But it's a lot easier in FS22. Um, but it takes longer. So what you're going to do is... Here's all the textures that we have in the US map right here. Uh, this is the combined textures. So there's actually... Each, each paintable texture you have five of each. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then the combined of all four of them. So that's how it ends up being so many. So there's um, each one of these, there's five different ones. So that's all you're able to paint down in this map. And I'm going to show you how to get it to where you can do the um, textures from the US map, the Alpine map, and the textures from the uh, other map. So first thing you're going to do is just click on the terrain matter of fact you can just do it up here click on terrain so it's going to highlight the whole bottom of the map all right then you're going to come over here to attributes all right so you got transform rigid body uh terrain and uh visibility conditions click on terrain scroll down to the bottom right here where it says layer manager Click on layer manager. There's three dots right there. All right, so right here, you have the name, diffuse map, normal map, and then the uh, weight PNG. Then you have layers and combined layers. All right, so first thing you're going to do is your layers, and then you can do your combined layers. So, like I said, each texture has four so like right here riverbed there's one two three and four and then that's pretty much just um because each texture has a pattern so this pattern it would just be running horizontal this one would be vertical this one would be at angle this one would be at the other angle and then the combined layers is taking all four of those and like combining them together so it gives it a totally different look but first thing you got to do is your four layers and then you come up and combine them layers and you can actually combine um, all kinds of stuff like they had the gravel and the dirt, gravel and dust, gravel and grass, uh, gravel and moss. So you can even actually do um, gravel and animal mud if you wanted to. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's real easy. Like I said, it's easier than what it was in FS19. It just takes longer. So what you want to do is click on add layer, all right, and you're going to find a path to your game. So I have my game through Steam. So normally it would probably be on your C drive. I've moved mine to D drive. So you're going to go to your drive, then go to Steam library, Steam apps, common, farming simulator 22 data maps textures terrain and I did that wrong back up maps um, so we are on the US map so we have all the US maps uh, textures so we're gonna go up here to the map FR we're gonna grab the textures from map FR so Um, as soon as I get to the right place, we'll be good to go. All 
all right so it is um you'll do common farming simulator 22 data maps um map fr and then data and this is going to be the weight so we already have animal mud in the u.s map i think it's the same so we're just going to go ahead and skip that for now now we're going to do asphalt one two three and four this is why it takes so long because in fs19 you could just drag and drop you could do all the all the different textures all at once this here you have to do them all individually so we're going to do asphalt one all right so we did the weight map right there uh weight map all right so now we're going to do the normal map so we'll click on that come up here to your three dots three dots all right and back up okay so now what you're gonna do I'll show you so now we'll go to maps again and then map fr then textures this time instead of going to data we're going to go to textures terrain all right so we skip the animal mud and now here you have um asphalt one which is what we did but you have asphalt one twice and that's because one is your diffuse and one is your normal then asphalt two you have two of those as well so it's asphalt diffuse asphalt normal so we did asphalt um one but we needed normal because we're on the normal map so highlight the normal hit open hit okay it's acting up on me here of course it is <laughs> all right so i gotta go in there and do that again all right so asphalt one normal okay okay all right now that's in there now we need the diffuse again i'm gonna show you real quick that in here oops we do not have asphalt Okay, so there's animal, um, animal mud, concrete, dirt, uh, forest ground, grass, dry grass, dry grass, patchy, gravel, gravel dirt, gravel dust, path, river, or yeah, riverbed, animal mud, concrete, dirt, grass, gravel, all that, riverbed. All right, so our asphalt's going to show up down here when we're done, and I'll show you that you can use it. So let's go back in here. All right, so now we need our diffuse map. Diffuse map. All right, so asphalt one, diffuse. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight the asphalt zero one and copy that, copy. All right, then highlight our asphalt diffuse, open. Gonna bring it up here, hit OK. Alright, so now there's all of our mapping. Now I am going to paste in here the asphalt 01. Alright. I don't know how to get it to show up here, but but we got it in there. Okay, so I'm gonna change this to make it match all the rest. So it's uh 2.0. So two point zero um this here is two point 
or 0 0.20 and I think it's just gonna jump back yep I don't know why it does that um, so you can pick a color for that texture there's our color softness we'll go ahead and put that at 1000 or 1.1.000 or 1. 1. Uh, field dirt grass sand sound level gravel asphalt um, this is um, AI drive cost I really don't know what that means I think that's how much it costs for a um, worker to drive across that particular terrain uh, but don't quote quote me on that because I'm not really sure <laughs> but I'm gonna put it at its lowest alright so then if we scroll over now you can move this up the list <coughs> so when we come over here to pick our paint um, you can pick exactly where uh, in that list you want that to be for right now I'm just gonna leave it down there where it showed up this is everything we have now so if we wanted to we can actually move asphalt up here with the animal mud so all the a it, it would be in alphabetical order is what we could do with it uh, but right, for right now I'm gonna leave it down there for training purposes <laughs> now you're gonna hit apply okay and then hit yes all right then if we close that out unselect that all right and I don't know why all my painted te uh, textures disappeared there There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint that down to show you guys that it did work. Animal mud, scroll down to the bottom of our list here. See, now you see there's asphalt one. Now we can paint that down. It wasn't letting me paint it down because I had right here limit texture too and then it was on concrete so it limited that texture to any painting on concrete so now we should have asphalt and we do so there's asphalt one yay so there's asphalt there, there's rough asphalt then there's the alpine asphalt too I believe so now we're able to bring all the textures from the France map, I believe it is, um, and from the Alpine map. So we'll have the US textures, uh, the France textures, and the Alpine textures. We'll have all the textures in here. Um, I believe there's a way to bring in custom textures too. <laughs> I think it's a little more tricky than this <laughs> um, once I figure that out I'll make a video on it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing the um, asphalt textures one two three and four and then I'll I'll bring you back in to do a combined layer to show you how to do the combined layers and then we'll paint that down um, so I'll be right back and we'll get to it Hi, right, ladies and gents, and we are back. So here is all four asphalts, okay? Asphalt one, asphalt two, three, and four, all right? So now we're gonna do the combined layer 
with all four of them combined together. I was actually trying to figure out um, if changing the color, if you could actually change the color of it. But I'm not sure how that works. All right, so we'll click on terrain again. Yeah, so once again, you click on train, come over here to attributes on the top, hit train again, and then hit uh, layer manager. And um, if you want to move these up the list, uh, I don't know, you'll just have to mess with it. I tried it one time and when I did it, it just kind of scatteredly painted the texture that I moved all over the map so I don't know if it was just like a flute or what but like I said you can play with it see what you figure out um, now as far as the color here I don't know if this color is uh, determining I don't think it's actually determining the color per se um, I don't know if it determines like the shade of the color of what you're painting down or what but I think it's actually just because um, if you look here all these are the same for the concrete I think it's just saying like hey this is uh, I don't know how to explain it but saying hey this color brown means concrete or whatnot but anyway so now once you get all four asphalt one two three and four then you'll come up here to combine layer and then you'll put add combined layer all right then it adds a combined layer so uh name this is capital letters normally so cap asphalt <laughs> excuse me all right uncap um then you got to put like right here uh the gravel gravel for the name and then you got to add gravel one layer one layer two layer three and layer four and then that'll just mix those layers now you could even do it mix it up a bit and just do layer one and two or layer one and four or however you want to do it um but we are going to do it like so um i'll just click over here oops just copy real quick so i ain't got to type <laughs> all right so oh okay i guess we could just scroll down through there so that works too all right so asphalt one asphalt two Three and four. Three and four. Again, then we will just go ahead and copy. What's happening here? I don't know why when you put it in exactly the way it is like the 2000 there it just goes to two i i don't know why um but then you just hit apply yes we'll close that unselect the train uh again i don't know why it does that either how we had all that painted down that disappears <laughs> It lets you go back, which you won't have that painted down. I just have it down for video purposes, obviously. All right, now, say we just went ahead and closed the map. All right, it won't save this. You, I, you have to come up here and save your map for it to actually save this. So how it has us saving it before we come out of the terrain editor. 
Um, if, if I was to close the map right now, it, it would not save these layers I added. You, you have to save it yourself. Or you have to save the map for that to save. Alright, so now... Right here, see now we have asphalt in our combined layers. So let's go ahead and paint that down. See what it looks like. That's awesome. So that's all... All of these combined together. You can see the lighter color in there. And that's how every texture works. Um, except for uh, right here. The, the wet mud, there's only one. So if I scroll down here, uh, right there, mud zero wonder, there's only one layer of that. All right, but that's it guys so um, once you get all of the uh, the other map done then you can switch to the Alpine map and then pull all those textures in and then save it and then you have every single texture from the game in your map so uh, that's it so if you like what you see go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see what's coming what's next uh, any more how-to videos uh hit the subscribe button uh mash up notification bells and i'm out deuces